Hello, hello everyone, and welcome to you know another week of my network newsletter. Uh, I'm really excited to talk to you this week. We're diving into the second part of sort of your how to create uh, an email list that will last forever, that will get you more clients, that will make you more money, that will make your life easier too. It will make you look cooler as well. People will like you more for doing this, okay? So, do it, all right? Today what we're gonna talk about is how to create the first, we're gonna talk about what an autoresponder is on your email. We're talking about how to, <clears throat> excuse me, how to create that first uh, email to go out, how to import your list, and then how to maintain that list as you move forward, okay? So uh, by the time you're done with this, you are going to have your list set up, you're gonna have your first email written, and you are going to be talking to people on a weekly basis about your business, about um, your life, and about how you can help them. So I'm really excited. Uh, let's just dive into it. See ya. Okay, so we're back and we are logged into MailChimp. Uh, this is your dashboard. This is what you should see the first time that you log in. What we're gonna do today is we're gonna set up your autoresponder. And what the autoresponder is, it's basically gives you the ability to set a series of email that every time you add someone new to your list, they'll start at the beginning and then the emails will be dripped out over time, okay? And uh, when it comes to autoresponders in MailChimp, there's a pretty specific way that you wanna do it to just make it easier. And the, the easiest way to do that is to start the autoresponder first and then import your list, which is what we're gonna do today. All right, so you're here on the dashboard. What you wanna do is you want to go over to, so you're gonna wanna go over to automation here, right here, click that. And it's gonna tell you have no automation workflows. Just go up here to create automation workflow. It's gonna run you through a series of events here. So, which list do you wanna use, right? So you say, um, use the list that we created last week. Okay, it probably, it may have one subscriber, you in it or no subscribers. You wanna come down here and just um, select custom. You wanna custom workflow. Okay, the workflow name is going to be, what I would just do is the name of your, um, business and then um, list or something so like what I would do is Emerald City Law Group newsletter okay from name is gonna be you uh, email address is gonna be you what I do here typically is first and last name in the email and you can get those right here if you don't have those already um, the tracking just leave that stuff as is that will tell you who opens your email it will tell you if they click on your links um, tell you couple some some information like that that's pretty cool leave these good click next uh, trigger configure your trigger so what the trigger is this is gonna tell MailChimp when to send out your emails and uh, what day what time if you want and all that kind of stuff so trigger workflow when the following conditions are met when someone joins the list that's right um, you want to also trigger the workflow when subscribers are imported and the ones that you already have will be added to this workflow that's the reason why we didn't add anyone to your list yet and then create the autoresponder is because it's much easier to set this up first then import people to your list they'll automatically be added to this workflow and it's no no problem okay also click that third box just in case okay then on what day should email be sent you can pick whatever day you want as you know I like to send mine on Fridays only so I uncheck these boxes okay and I like them to go out at a specific time so send at 8 a.m. is when I like to do it um, when you're thinking about what time to send out just think about when people are most likely to open your emails and when they're most likely to read them right I send mine out on Fridays because I figure you know that's the time in the, the week is winding down for most people it's probably a slower day for the most part so so people have time to open my email read it check out the links and um, actually sort of uh, engage with the content Okay, so once you pick that, hit next. All right. Now add emails to this workflow, so it's easy. So what you're gonna wanna do is you're gonna wanna um, create your first email. What this typically is, is an introductory email. So um, right now it shows up as this, but you can design the email, all right? So what I do is name your email. This is just for internal. I usually go number one, welcome to the newsletter. Okay, the email subject is welcome. There you go, I've already used this before, as you can tell. Welcome to my newsletter from me, 
from the email address. Click Next. For the template, I, I'd use the one column template. Okay. This loads up. Then what I do is I come up here to this content box, the very, very top one, hit the trash can, delete that. Okay. Come here, delete this one. Yes. And the reason I don't like these, and, and you'll notice with my emails, they're very plain text, right? That's for a specific reason. Uh, the reason I do that is because I want my emails to you to feel like an email that you would get from a colleague or from anyone else. I don't want a lot of graphics. I don't want a lot of fancy stuff. I want it to be a conversation between me and you. That's why I set it up like that. Very simple, um, very straightforward. It'll open anywhere. You can see it on your phone really easily. That's what I'm going for. If you want to go for a more um, fancy design, then go for it. You know, there's a bunch of templates. There's all kinds of different stuff you can do. The other thing about it being simple is it's really easy to set up. It's really easy to write your first email. Bada bing, bada boom, it's out of there. Okay. So you, in this, this course sort of shows you what your email is going to look like on the right side over here. This is where you get to write your email. Okay. So first thing you do want to do is delete what's in there. Okay, come to the style section. Okay, font family is gonna, be, or I'm sorry, uh, font family, Arial. Okay, very simple, easy to read on a on a, a computer. Twelve point, font weight is gonna be normal. Line height, you want one point five spacing. That makes it easy to read. And then save and close. All right. Now you're back here in your content box, and all you do is you write your email. Um, typically, this is a welcome email. You want to do merge tag, first name. What that will do is automatically pre-populate everyone's first name in right there. Okay. Then you just write. I typically say welcome. You know, welcome to the newsletter. And then I do a short intro. <clears throat> and then I go into um, you are here because or, or uh, what is this newsletter? How did I get on the list? First piece of content. Okay, and you want to make this first one something that's pretty good. Something that people will like. All right, typically when I'm doing, um, what I'll do is I'll, you know, what is this newsletter? This newsletter is about blah, 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 right? What I'll do is I'll make this a heading. So I'll come up here to style go to h3 okay give it a space and then you can see over here right you can see what it looks like in the actual email so you you write all your stuff out you know um, blah, 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 blah. and then that'll help you break it up break up your sections um, into it'll just make it easier to read okay the other thing that I do here is I go to settings I go to two columns and then I click on this very far right one Okay, save and close. Click on the content one more time. You want to then go to column two and just delete this, okay? What this does is it restricts how far over this will go. It'll make the email easier to read if someone's on their computer, and then it will definitely make it easier to read if someone is on their phone. It won't scroll a long way, so it's easier to read text when it's, in sh when it's shorter in length, and that will do that for you automatically. So when you're done writing your uh, newsletter, um, what also one of the things that you want to do, you'll notice that I did it with um, with uh, with my first email to you guys. When you talk about how to get on the list, you also want to talk about how can you get off of the list. All right, this isn't meant to be spammy, so just be straight up with people and say, hey, look, if you don't want to be on this list, if you don't want to get this great information, that's fine. I get it. Um, hit the unsubscribe button below, and you won't you won't get these anymore. Okay, and when people unsubscribe, because people will do, don't take it personally. All right, there's going to be typically 10% of people that love you, 10% of people that hate you, no matter what, and then you know there's that 60 or that 80% in the middle that are just you know that enjoy your content but aren't raving fans. Okay, so just be ready for that 10% to dump you. It just happens. No hard feelings. Okay, so once that's done, once you've written your first newsletter, hit save and close click finish all right um, and then 
and then you're ready to go. Okay. Uh, so this this email would be live right now. Right now there's there's a uh, it's not going to anyone except for me because there's no list yet. But um, if there was a list, then on Friday this would be sent out to people. All right. And then all you got to do is you want to make sure that you do at least one email in this sequence a week. Uh, and we'll get to that actually next week on how to do that uh, so that you are um, have content going out consistently, which if you remember is one of the keys that to a successful list is, is consistency. Okay, and what I do too to give you a hint, and I'll, I'll talk about this more next week, but I batch all this stuff. So I will try to do like two in a row or three in a row and get it built up so it's... Um, you know, so it's several weeks out there in advance so that if something comes up and I get really busy and I can't do it one week, I don't have to worry about it. It's already done for that week. All right. So now that we're done with this, you hit next. See what happens. Um, it just shows you what all your settings are. Okay. And then what you want to do here is you go save and exit. And then you want to go to your lists. Okay. So you should have your list created from the last time. So what you want to do is click on that. All right, and then you want to add subscribers. Hopefully, you've made your list. Um, if you haven't made your list, the easiest way to do it is just open um, an Excel file or export your contacts from your from where you're at. Export your contacts as a CSV file. Come over here, import subscribers. Import from a CSV or text. It'll um, ask you to browse to upload the file. Just do that. Click this so that you don't get any double ups. Hit upload list, and they'll all be put into your list, and they'll just automatically be worked into this workflow. All right, they'll automatically get kicked in. Then what happens is, um, as you as your network gets bigger, you just let's say you get a business card from somebody, you meet some people out or something, you come back, you go to add subscriber. Okay, you just put that person's email and name in um, off the business card or you know whoever you met. Click this box to show that they gave you permission to be added to the list, and then hit subscribe. They'll automatically put put into that automation into the first email of your list, right? So you can sort of control the information that goes out. You can present them information in a very specific way. Um, if you have people that are, um, you know, this can come in really handy for potential clients. You know, like if you're if you're in real estate or if you um, have sort of recurring business this can be amazing you know you can do a, um, um, a weekly tip to keep up with your house or you can do just a you can do a weekly tip but every uh, once a month one of your emails can be how to upkeep your house or something like that so the possibilities are endless all right so I think that is all we were gonna do today so you know your to do's for this week are just obviously to you know create your automation start that workflow um, and write your first email, the introductory email, and then import your list. Next week, we will talk about creating content. We'll talk about how to. Um, we will talk about how to get ideas for content. If you're stuck, there's a million different things that, to write about and to do, and then uh, we'll just go from there. Sky's the limit. All right. So have a great week, and uh, you know if you have any questions, email me. Uh, I'd love to hear from you. All right, I think there's probably going to be a little outro video here. So with that, I'll let you go. See ya. Okay, I hope you enjoyed that. Um, in real time for me, that took about 30 seconds. So I record this email or this next video. But um, for you, you know, it's about 15 minutes. So I hope you like that. If you have any questions, okay, email me and ask me, okay? I, I want to give you this information because I know it can help you uh, have a better business. You'll have happier clients. You'll have a happier network. And you'll probably have a little bit more fun with your business because you get to be creative and do some of this, this stuff that is outside of the norm of just a humdrum, everyday workflow kind of stuff. So if you have questions, email me, chris at emeraldcitylawgroup.com. Call me. Okay, my cell phone number, 206-601-2545. All right, I'm giving that to you because you're a valuable member of my network and I want to talk to you. So call me anytime. Shoot me a text. Uh, just call and say hi, you know. Uh, put me and, and by the way as you create these lists as you create this automation series I want to be on that list okay I can't wait to start getting emails from you guys I can't wait to start learning more about 
your business and the ways that you can help me and help the rest of my network so that I can share what you do with everyone else. Okay, so have a great week. Uh, we're starting the, well, I guess right now as of the recording of this, we're starting a, a new quarter. So I hope this is a great quarter for you all. I hope you are expanding your horizons, building your business, and having a great time. All right, talk to you soon. Take care. Bye.